Oh, my name is Bill Collier, and I uh, was a helicopter pilot for the Marine Corps in Vietnam from July of 66 until August of 67. I flew the H-34 helicopter in Vietnam, and then later on, as that helicopter phased out and I got out of the Marine Corps, that helicopter was available in civilian life, so I never had any problem getting a job flying helicopters because there were lots of H-34s out there. And uh, I love the old machine more than half of my entire flying experience was in that machine. And that's why uh, last year when I found out there were several of these machines that were available and if they didn't get adopted, they were going to get shredded. So I had to send myself, I've got to rescue one of these things. So I did and that's where the story of Charlie comes in because I rescued this H-34. And it turns out uh, Charlie, as I named her, lived in uh, Everett, Washington. So when I was negotiating with the guy who had the helicopters to buy one, I want, there was one I could go look and see and touch and, uh, and just to make a long story short I got the veterans organizations here in Sandpoint to support me we put it under their umbrella so it's a nonprofit anybody who donates gets to write off the donation and uh, so I put it on the internet I started a blog and uh, just because I know lots of people in the helicopter industry uh, a lot of people send a lot of money in. I've been able to use that money to rebuild the helicopter and, and get it uh, put back together. We're going to use it for some kind of a war memorial. It's a nice focal point for the vets here. We get together and we work on it. And we tow it through town for the uh, 4th of July parade last year. That was so much fun. And this year we'll do the Lost in 50s parade. We take it to the stand down at the fairgrounds. We've taken it to the high school for uh, Veterans Day function there and we took it to Memorial Park for a big veterans picnic we have annually. So it was lots of fun and we continue to look for ways to advertise and use the helicopter to bring attention to our veterans organizations. You know, one of the great uh, legends, and I don't know about, I wasn't here, about the uh, Vietnam vets getting a poor reception when they came home. I got kind of a subdued re reception and people had asked me pointed questions and I would just sort of evade the question, but it wasn't really vehement before I left again to go back overseas to fly for Air America. And uh, so, but I heard all the stories about how Vietnam vets got a really bad reception and didn't feel welcomed home. And I never really felt welcomed home. I grew up, I was born on VJ Day. VJ Day was my second birthday. So I think there was a heck of a party, but I don't remember. But I know that all the World War II vets got a heck of a welcome when they came home. And I know those, those of us who were the next generation, we wanted that same hero's return when we came back and we didn't get it. So it was very disappointing for us. We went over there and put our lives on the line, watched our friends die, and came back to a less than uh, enthusiastic response. I got that welcome last 4th of July, <clears throat> riding in the Jeep, pulling Charlie through town, in this beautiful small town. Everybody in town who wasn't in the parade was on the sidelines. And we got one continual wave of applause from the start of the parade all the way to the end of the parade. It just never stopped. People waving flags and standing up and applauding. And it just, I took it very personally. I know it wasn't just for me, it was for the helicopter too, but I really, really uh, felt finally I got welcome home. It was lovely. Thank you, Sam Point. <laughs> <laughs>